that each soccer position has its own specific number assigned to it. I played soccer my whole life and honestly I didn't even know that for the longest time. But in this video I'm going to show you each position and the specific number assigned. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Numbers assigned to each specific position. And the reason you would want to know that is maybe you're watching football on TV and they're referring to different players, different positions as numbers and not just mentioning the position. Maybe you're watching an analyst speak about football so it's going to help you understand that as well also maybe your coach is giving tactical advice he's talking about soccer tactics football tactics and he's not referring to the positions he's just referring to the numbers so i'm going to give you a few different formations but the numbers of the positions are the same the formation may shift a bit but the positions stay the same so it would go like this the goalkeeper is number one right fullback number two, left fullback, number three, left center back, number four, right center back, number five. And for these formations, I'm just gonna keep a back four, but we'll do a couple different ones. One, two, three, four, five. Going into the midfield, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 10. The attacking midfielder is a 10, defensive midfielder is a six, the eight may go forward and join the 10. He may stay here with the six, but specifically attacking midfielder is a 10. Defensive midfielder is a six. The wingers, seven, 11. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. 11 end. The striker is always number nine. The big goal scorer up top, he is number nine. So let's just do a slight variation. We're playing in a 4-2-3-1 right now. If we went 4-3-3, it stays the same. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, seven, eleven, nine. Sometimes the eight may go and join the 10, and you might play with one defensive midfielder, he would be the six. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy. He would be the six. This would be a 10 and an eight in here. And seven, 11, nine. You could play a four, one, four, one with one defensive midfielder. And it would be the same. A six, an eight, and a 10 in here, seven, 11, and the nine up top. Let's look at a traditional four, four, two. So the same from the back, one, two, three, four, five. Up top is the nine and the 11 would join him. Nine and 11 traditionally have been the two strikers because in the 90s, 80s, it was a lot of 4 4 2. 9 and 11 were usually up top. This would be a 6 and a 10 in here. 7, 8, 9, 11. So that's basically the different positions assigned to different numbers. So, as I said, it's going to help you if anyone ever mentions, maybe you're watching. Um, professional football on TV and the analyst or the commentator keeps mentioning the number six so he's such a good number six or the attacking number ten he's so good on the ball he's so creative the big number nine up top this is gonna give you a better idea of those positions so you're not confused if you ever hear those terms and also like I said if I'm playing uh, football there's 11 players on the pitch so that's why there's only 11 numbers here. Now, obviously you can wear whatever number you want. And nowadays players are getting higher and higher with their numbers, more ridiculous numbers, and it's all good. Wear whatever number you want. But if you play right fullback, maybe you wanna select that number two. If you play left fullback, three. Center backs, four and five. Midfielder, especially that defensive midfielder, six. The attacking midfielder, you're the number 10. The wingers are seven. 
an 11 usually if you're playing with two wingers or if you're in a if you're in that 442 it would be that 7 and that 8 but up top if you want to be the big goal scorer wear the number 9 11 is a cool number as well and at the end of the day you can wear whatever number you want but i hope you found this video helpful if you were looking for if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.